Welcome Viking warriors to Valheim. When you make your way to the Black Forest, you start encountering more dangers, but unlock all sorts of new items with bronze metals and fine and poor wood. New weapon types include swords, maces, and pole arms. Most importantly of all, you unlock traditional Viking mead. I'm not just joking either. The mead recipes will be very useful in the future. All of this helps us gear up for the next boss, the Elder. To spawn the Elder, you need to bring three ancient seeds to its forsaken altar in the Black Forest. I've got seven different ways you can kill the Elder, let's go over them now. The first method that most people are familiar with is by using the bow. The Elder is weak to fire, so make sure to use fire arrows in this encounter for the best damage. The Elder uses three abilities. The Elder can shoot a series of vines out of its hand. This can cause some serious damage, so hide behind any of the four pillars around the altar to avoid it. The Elder also summons roots around you. You can either try to kill the roots, but it may be easier just to run away from them. And if you're too close, the Elder will try to stomp on you. If you're using the bow, always keep your distance and hide near one of the pillars. The Elder is slow, so it should be easy to outrun it and move from one pillar to another. Like with all boss fights, keep an eye on your stamina gauge and never let it hit zero. This part will be easier if you go into the fight rested and fully fed. Once you understand its attack pattern, just keep shooting it with your bow until it's dead. Just to be on the safe side, make sure to bring around 100 arrows with you to this fight. Upon defeat, you'll get the Swamp Key and an Elder Trophy. The Swamp Key allows you to explore the sunken crypts in the swamp for iron scraps. You'll be heading there in the future. For the second method, we're going to melee this giant beast. Since you've discovered copper and bronze, you now have access to several different new weapons. 
you have the bronze axe, sword, mace, spear, and the copper knife. You'll need to equip a good shield like the bronze buckler if you go with this strategy. Don't forget that if you go melee, use your strongest attack as the boss spawns for good ambush damage. With fully upgraded bronze armor and the bronze buckler, you can parry the Elder's stomp attack. After you parry, you'll have enough time for a 3-hit combo with the weapon of your choice. Between all 5 weapon options, the bronze spear or the copper knife are the fastest. You can switch to blocking or running very quickly. The axe and mace are slower but they can do more damage. If you get greedy with extra attacks, you might miss your chance to block. And the sword fits nicely in the middle of all those options. Pick whichever works for you. Make sure that all stomp attacks are parried. Your shield may not be strong enough to simply block it. Also, if you're always in melee range of the Elder, it won't use its vine shoot attack. When roots are summoned, you can ignore them if they're far enough away, or kill them if they're too close. Just make sure to keep an eye on the boss for any incoming stomp attacks. If you have your parry timing down, let's skip using a shield and use dodge rolls instead for method number 3. I'll be using some of the new two-handed weapons for this strategy. There's the bronze it gear polearm and the stag breaker, but any of the other previous weapons I talked about will work just fine. With this method, we're using the dodge roll ability to avoid stomp attacks by holding block and pressing jump in the direction you want to roll. This is a very risky strategy because you'll take full damage if you don't have the correct timing. One mistake, especially with a lot of roots nearby, could lead to a lot of endless staggering and it could all be over quickly. The 8th gear is significantly slower than a regular spear, but if roots are summoned around you, you can use the secondary attack to do a spin attack and clear them out quickly. If used well, you won't have to run away from the roots during the entire fight. This weapon, however, drains more stamina, so keep a close eye on that. As for the Stag Breaker, it might look like a cool weapon, but it's not good for this boss fight. Every attack is incredibly slow, and even when fully upgraded, it does not one-shot the roots. Maybe it's best to use it elsewhere.
Let's say that you don't have your parry timing down, or that you don't want to take the risk where a couple mistakes will kill you. The Bone Tower Shield is method number four. Tower shields make you move incredibly slow, but you don't have to learn when to parry if you want to use it. You can consistently fully block the Elder's stomp attacks with this shield without any staggering. The stagger meter will actually cool down and return to zero before the Elder's next attack. Like with earlier melee strategies, if the Elder summons roots around you, you can try to kill them or run away from them to get into a better area. The Bone Tower Shield is pretty tough. It can sometimes also block the full Vine attack if you're lucky, but you shouldn't risk it since you'll take even more damage if you get staggered. Now that we've covered all the basic strategies, method number five is where things start getting a little cheesy. We're going to use the bow and fire arrow strategy again, but we're going to fight the elder in a small trench we're going to dig out next to the arena. When digging this hole, try to make it as small as possible while also making it fairly deep. The idea is that it's small enough and the cliffs are sharp enough that the elder won't be able to get to you. When you start the encounter, just wait for the Elder to slowly come over while hiding in the hole. When the Elder gets up close, it wants to stomp on you, but it can't reach you. This essentially breaks the AI, allowing you to shoot it safely from below. You're effectively invincible if you set this up correctly. If you see the Elder summoning roots, always check if any spawn in the hole with you and kill them quickly if they do. Now just patiently pick it off until it's dead.
For our sixth method, we're going to use campfires. This is a favorite method for speedrunners since you only need wood and stone to get this kill. Before the fight begins, place a few workbenches around the corners of the altar. This will help with the walls we're going to build in a moment. Disabling the camera shake option helps if you're using this strategy. When the elder spawns, you need to build walls around its spawn location quickly. What you're doing is placing a few walls around it to prevent it from moving around. If you place the walls correctly, the elder will be unable to move around, and if you maintain the right distance, you'll be too far to stomp and too close to use the vine attack. It can still summon roots, so you might want to have a weapon ready if you don't feel like running around. When the elder is trapped, place campfires as close as possible to its feet. If placed close enough, the elder will start to burn. Campfires slowly break when they burn enemies, so you have to use your hammer to constantly repair them. It takes about 5 seconds for a campfire to break. As you can see, if you get 2 or 3 campfires constantly burning the elder, this will be over quickly. Lastly, for method number 7, let's combine a few things we've learned and fight the Elder face to face. Before the fight begins, build some platforms up high on the corners of the altar. There's plenty of core wood in the Black Forest, so logs work well here. Add only a couple floors and some ladders and we're ready to go. For this strategy, the smaller platforms are better since roots can actually spawn on top of them. When the Elder spawns, Go to the tower closest to it and try to bait it to get closer. When the Elder gets in melee range, it will try to stomp, but can't since you're too high. Even if it did stomp, it shouldn't hit anything except the occasional workbench or your ladder. The only thing it can do is summon roots, which can spawn on your structures so take them out quickly. From up here, you only want to use three weapons. At long range, use the bow. At medium range, the eighth gear and at close range, the Copper Dagger. The main reasons for using these weapons is that you don't lunge forward while attacking, which can make you fall off. This doesn't fully apply to the 8 gear. When using pole arms, only attack once. If you try to do a 2 or 3 hit combo, you'll start to inch forward. If the Elder gets into a good position, you can safely melee it to death. An extra trick you can do while you're up here is box the Elder in using logs. It can't destroy nor move through them. If you build it correctly, the Elder will get stuck and won't move at all.
Now you can just stab it with your knife until it's dead. And that concludes seven different methods you can use to defeat the second boss in the Black Forest, the Elder. If you're new to the game, I would recommend using the Bow and Fire Arrows strategy or using the Bone Tower Shield if you want to melee. Defeating the Elder and hanging its head at the Sacrificial Stones will grant you a special power that increases damage when chopping trees by 60%. This is most useful if you set up a tree farm and want to cut down groups of trees and all their stumps very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this guide. The difficulty is now going to start ramping up a bit. Good luck in the swamps.